Hi guys, it's Chantel here. So I got a, a little process video for you guys today. I'm using the majority of my stuff is stuff from my stash. I don't even remember when I bought these papers, but I know I bought them at my local scrapbooking store and I knew I'd probably use them for my boy photos, but that never did happen. So with Asher's 100 days, I made him a little monster shirt. So I figured, you know what? These got little monsters on it. I'm using it. So this paper here that I'm, it's very hard on the eyes. <laughs> I'm matting onto the back of my photo here because I just want a little bit of it to show is, um, Oh Boy, Be Different by Fancy Pants. And oh, I do like this collection of the pieces that I did buy, but I really did find it hard to use the cream, which is, was really weird. That's what kept throwing me off. But anyways, I use it because if I don't use it, what's the point of having it, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the Be Different collection. It is really cute. I only bought like four pages and then the ephemera pack and that was it. So, and then this page I was debating if I wanted to cut it in half or did I want some of those monsters? Oh, I went back and forth, but I do end up cutting out the monsters on this page because they're just so cute and then doing something to make them a little bit extra special which you'll see later on as I go on. It does come with a cup, or a, it does come with quite a few monsters in the ephemera pack, but they were just too small. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at myself here because I just complained about not too long ago in one of my videos about ephemera being too big, but now I wanted bigger ephemera pieces. Sorry, I cut those out. That's what I was doing there. So now they're all cut out. I'm not going to use all of them. I just cut out the ones that I liked that maybe I wanted to put on this page and see where this page goes. So I'm using the other, oh, this other page is the monster one. That's what that page was called. And this is just the back side of it. I really wanted to use this blue. It was really pretty, so... So yeah, I'm just trimming it around, doing a bigger border around it so that more of that blue would stand out because, like I said, it is a really nice color. Uh, yes, I forgot. I wanted to um, do a little uh, edging around it, which is uh, black soot, the Distress ink there. I just, because um, I don't know if you can tell that background paper that I have, that I'm using there, it does have black between the cream and the red there so I just wanted to add a little more black just to make it pop a little bit more and I think I goofed up so I'm just re-sticking <laughs> my photo down and then I'm coming back in doing the edging of that right there I know there's <laughs> a ah, proper term for it, but I'm just not thinking of it right now. So yeah, I know I want it to go right in the middle and to have a couple little monsters around it. I really do like how it ends up working. I had no plan for this at all, so it was kind of fun just to, you know, work around it and figure things out. So you will see a lot of that. So I am using these thickers. I have two pulled out from my stash. Uh, the red ones are the, called Apartment. I've had them for quite a while. And then these blue thickers are called Starlight. And I wanted it to say Happy 100 Days. But as you can see, the red ones have no A's. Absolutely none. <laughs> so what I end up doing later on, you'll see I get a little creative. Because I knew there was no way I wanted to cut them in any way so I take um, the V's and I just turn them into A's. I know there's no little hole to indicate that they're A's but that's okay with me because I noticed some thickers nowadays they don't you know what I mean they're solid instead of you know so I figured I could pull this off and it works it looks good I think so and it doesn't bother me so 
um, going back through. I didn't have any ones in the red, so I knew I had to use these blue thickers. I did think about using them, but like I said, with that cream, and there's a little bit of white in those blue thickers, and it kept throwing me off. So I just decided to stick with the red and then to use the blue ones just for the hundred. So here's where I'm just deciding where I want my title and all the embellishments to go down. <laughs> I moved these little monsters quite a bit. I thought about using all of these, but then I was like, oh, that's too many. <laughs> it's funny how you think, oh, rules of three come into play here. So you'll see what I do in a bit. I think I ran away. <laughs> I think I'm grabbing something. Nope. Oh yes, I really wanted to use this blue guy. So I'm just working around deciding which ones I want. Where I want them. I thought about that and then decided no, I gotta do the threes. I need three monsters on here and I'm gonna stick with that. And then I'm deciding where do I want this title to go. I really do like it like that. <laughs> but I move it just a little bit and add another monster to the end of it. There he is. And I'm really liking how it's coming along. And before I... And then I start... <clears throat> sorry. Laying down my, um, my title. I'm just going to cut it apart just to make sure I line it up properly. And then I'm going to come back in and start layering everything down, I think. Yeah. So that is what I'm doing right now. Grabbing my ATG gun. And like I said, the paper, because <laughs> the lines are so wonky, it was hard to place tricks on your eyes. So I'm making sure, sorry, I apologize about my chair. Making sure that I um, get everything the way I want it to go. I like that monsters rule. That's such a cute little that I cut out also from that monster paper. And I popped up all these little monsters with some foam dots. And then yes, I'm finally going to add my title down. So now that my title is down, it's time to embellish this page. I had pulled out a whole bunch of stuff from my stash. These buttons I got years and years ago from Stampin' Up. They're uh, corduroy <laughs> buttons. And then I had normal buttons also by Stampin' Up. And the blue just matched perfectly to the collection or the color in this collection. I am only going to use two and I think I'm going to put them at the bottom. I don't think I know. <laughs> then the bottom of between my title there. And then I'm just deciding do I want to keep those there? Is there anything else I want to use? And then I remember I have the ephemera pack so I might as well start going through that seeing what else I wanted to use because I knew I there was one thing for sure I wanted to use but I wasn't quite sure if there was anything else. So. Oh yes, and this is my extra thingy. <laughs> I remembered, since I've been shopping more in my stash, these googly eyes I had got from Doodlebug last year? Last year's Halloween or the year before? I can't remember now, but oh my goodness. They're the shape spark sprinkles. So I start adding them because I wanted to have geek those, you know, because of Asher's uh, shirt in this picture has those kind of eyeballs and oh, I was able to make a monster with more than just two eyes and, and then these guys just look like they were sleeping so now they look like real monsters so I was so excited that I remembered I had them so yay <laughs> he looks so cute Asher absolutely loves this layout I did for him so 
that's good for me. <laughs> so now I'm going through the ephemera pack. I know you guys can't see and they just happen to be these balloons and I thought <clears throat> that was fitting. It's not a birthday but it is a celebration of 100 being 100 days at school so I thought <clears throat> excuse me that would be perfect and here I'm just thinking that maybe I'd just have the balloons all over the page and then see those are those uh, monsters that come in the pack and then this one I knew I wanted to use this one it says it's a party I guess if I wanted to I could go back and add googly eyes to that guy too I didn't but I might so but yeah, no, I'm just going through. I knew I wanted to use this cute little green star. But yeah, no, I do end up changing up the balloons a little bit and making them look like the monsters are holding them. I think that looks way better. Otherwise, it looks a little too busy with all these balloons going crazy here. So <laughs> just working that in my mind right now. And here's where I'm like, you know what? They're going to hold them. They're going to look like they're holding them. And that's going to look a lot cuter. So I do glue down one of them and then I pop up another one. So one of them does have dimension. They're so cute. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to do here. I am going to speed this up just a little bit more because, oh my goodness, it was taking me forever just to do this simple thing. Ah, so I don't want to bore you guys too long. So now I'm on going to add the buttons. I'm just using some glue dots to glue them down. And I have two more things to glue down and that is going to pretty much finish up this layout. Oh, I'm loving it. As quick and easy as it was, I am glad it is definitely in and out of my stash <laughs> in an album and out of my stash I'm glad I finally got to use it oh yeah I'm gonna try and do that more and shop my stash is definitely what I think I'm going to do so yeah like I said I'm gonna glue that down and then I'm going to pop that brad and that is going to bring this layout to a close as always if you guys have any questions leave them down below other than that I will definitely see you guys in my next video bye